Hey guys, welcome to Body Peak Supplements and PT Den Personal Training. Today we're going to talk about all you need to know about insulin. We're going to start from the very beginning. We're going to talk about what insulin is, um, how it's related to diabetics, how bodybuilders can use it with natural supplements, and why bodybuilders use it as an anabolic hormone. So first we're going to talk about uh, what insulin actually is and how it's related to diabetes. Insulin is a hormone produced by a pancreas. When your body's blood sugar elevates, your pancreas secretes and creates the hormone insulin that binds to your sugar and transports it to your cells. When your cells recognize the insulin, the cells open allowing the sugar to be absorbed into the cells and used as fuel. So in other words, if your sugar levels go too high from eating food and raw sugar, your body will produce insulin to bring your sugar levels back down. So this is the way that your body balances the sugar levels. Therefore, without insulin, your sugar levels will continue to climb and you will go through life-threatening illnesses and disease. So, now that we understand that, what is diabetes? There are two different types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is where your pancreas actually doesn't produce insulin. Therefore, your sugar levels naturally just continue to rise. This normally occurs at a very young age, so people who are type 1 diabetic normally get recognized at a very early age. However, it is common for people to become type 1 diabetic later on in life. This is called late onset diabetes. So because their body doesn't produce insulin or their pancreas doesn't produce insulin, this means that you have to inject insulin manually. Uh, this is done uh, in a range of different ways uh, and mostly done subcutaneously just through the skin in your stomach. This has to be done on a daily basis and the dose depends on how big you are and your weight and your sex and how much sugar you would be eating. Type 2 diabetes is where your body produces insulin, so your sugar levels go up, your body does what it's meant to be doing and your pancreas produces insulin, but your cells are resistant. Your cells don't recognize the insulin and your cells don't open, allowing the sugar to come into the cell and being used as fuel. Therefore, your body's sugar levels go up, your body produces insulin, but your insulin has no effect on the human body, and therefore the sugar just continues to raise. This is where you normally have to take medication in tablet form, and this puts another format or type of drug into your body that can bring your sugar levels back down to normal. So, moving on. Now let's talk about an insulin spike and how it can be used for bodybuilding. An insulin spike is where you purposely increase the insulin in your blood by having a high carbohydrate meal. So let's say for example that after my workout my body is completely carb depleted. You can have products such as Vitago or Flood by Dimatize which is simply a complex carbohydrate made of waxy maize starch or you can have multidextrin and type of sugars. Now what this does is spikes your sugar levels producing insulin. When insulin goes to your cells in a, in a, in a healthy bodybuilder, in a healthy person, those cells now open, allowing your protein, creatine, BCAs, etc. to now all be absorbed in abundance into the human body. So if you naturally just have 30 grams of whey protein, by creating an insulin spike and by adding these sugars and complex carbohydrates such as waxy may starch to your protein, your body's sugar levels skyrocket, your body produces insulin, your cells open and now you can increase your absorption rate and increase protein synthesis by 30 up to 50, 60 grams of protein a hit. This means that more protein and, and creatine and everything else can get into your cells at a faster speed and be used for protein synthesis and the recovery of your muscle tissue. This means that you're going to recover faster and you're going to grow bigger and stronger at a faster speed. So this is where um, supplement companies have started to uh, jump on the bandwagon in a smart way. 
Basically, weight gainers aren't there to just put in a lot of calories. They're there to create an insulin spike. So all the top weight gainers have now changed their sugar type for multidextrin to waxy May starch that's low in sugar, pretty much no sugar, but is designed to give you a massive insulin spike. So this means they've now been able to add high quantities of protein, glutamine and creatine and raw branched chain amino acids to the actual product all together in one hit. A classic example would be a product called Expand Post by Dimatize. Here you have 30 grams of waxy may starch to give yourself an insulin spike and good calories to replenish your sugar levels after your workout. Branched chain amino acids and creatine all put together in the one product for you to take all in one hit after your workout. So I'll go through it quickly one more time. The waxy may starch produces uh, insulin in your blood as well as replenish glycogen stores but it produces insulin that opens the cells and increases the absorption of your protein, branched chain amino acids and your creatine all at the one time and therefore it's all together in the one product. So this is how you can create an insulin spike and uh, this is what an insulin spike basically is. It's a spike in your insulin levels created by sugar and carbohydrate. Now what about bodybuilders? Bodybuilders who go to the extreme stage actually inject insulin as if they were diabetic. Um, this means that Insulin, as you've just noticed, is probably the most anabolic hormone in the human body. Back in the day, bodybuilders used to be pretty big as a result of steroids back in the Arnold Schwarzenegger days. They all took uh, a lot of steroids back then. But the difference between their bodies back then versus the bodies of today is insulin. So that's the trick. This is the key to creating those massive freaks that you see on stage today in comparison to the Arnold Schwarzenegger days. People think back then they didn't have steroids and the reason why the guys are so big today was because Arnold Schwarzenegger and his days didn't have steroids. Truth of the matter is they had steroids back then but now we have another um, anabolic hormone called insulin that we can use to add that mass and size to those bodies. So basically what happens is this. A bodybuilder will go through a hard training phase. Um, you'll now have one IU of insulin to inject per seven grams of carbohydrates after their workout. So just say you'll, you'll train in the gym, you'll have a hardcore workout as tough as you can possibly be, as tough as you can possibly train. After your workout, you'll want to put in say 70 grams of carbohydrates as waxy may starch. In that protein shake, you'll have so 70 grams of carbs, uh, 10 grams of creatine instead of 5 grams of creatine, 50, 60 grams of whey protein instead of 30, 40 grams of whey protein and all together at the same time. How does your body absorb all this at one time? Well, you inject insulin. Um, in this case, if you had 70 grams of carbs, you'll have 10 IU of insulin. You'll inject at the same time. The insulin opens up all your cells, allowing that massive shake with all those products to be all absorbed into your body, cells, and be used. And therefore, nothing's free floating throughout your body. Your body uses all of it, and that's what gives incredible growth. So basically, what testosterone does is increases protein synthesis. What um, insulin does is increases synthesis of pretty much everything. Um, and that's the difference between insulin and testosterone. So. The problem with uh, injecting insulin for bodybuilders is something I really, it's, I really don't promote it at all. I'm doing this video basically purely on the educational base. <coughs> um, if you are injecting insulin into your body, and if you're putting an artificial format in, your pancreas will eventually stop producing it itself. And now you become a type 1 diabetic, which is the worst form of diabetic. And you're going to be like that for the rest of your life. Um, so do I suggest creating an insulin spike uh, for training? Yes, and done on a small basis to so make sure your body can, you know, you don't put in any more than 40 grams of waxy may starch in your system at one time and it's a safe insulin spike. Your body naturally produces insulin. You're not putting so much sugar into your body that you're going to become a diabetic. Um, but if you're going to be injecting insulin, that's a whole other story. You know, you're putting something artificial into your body that's not supposed to be there. Your body's not producing insulin, therefore your body just stops producing it itself and now you become diabetic. So that's actually making you much, much unhealthy. Is there a safe way to do it? Um, there are safer ways to do it. 
um, but it's nothing that I would ever suggest anybody try and do. Um, uh, it's it really comes down to how much you care about your health. You know, your health is far more important than the way you look. Um, so I'm doing this for educational purposes. Uh, this video, and if you're thinking about injecting insulin, think again.